Good morning. All right, I know shrimping is a few months away, but we're getting ready early. Uh, I'm going to go over some tips that we've learned on shrimping me and Wade, and I'm going to get y'all's opinion on a couple methods I'm using to make shrimp poles. We'll get to that in just a minute. where we're at with Virginia shrimping. Guys, over the last few years, we've done a lot of different things trying to shrimp it, and we've come up with a good recipe. First thing, what kind of bait do you use for shrimp? This right here. This is the best one. You bait binder right there. What you do is you mix it with a little bit of water, get it in a ball about that size right there, and we used to take it, just throw it in the water, and throw the net over, but that's not good. What we've come up with is this. Well, I'm going to show you these poles, man, but what we got is poles you put in the water, and then what you do is you take your bait after you make it up, put it inside of a bag like this. These bags here I got off Amazon. It's really, really cheap. A hundred for five dollars or something. It's crazy. But anyway, what you do is you put them in there like that, and then what you do is you put a little weight in here with it. And we're going to put maybe a Maybe it's 16 ounce sink out. We don't want this bag, this bait to move once you put it in the water. Then we'll take a, a, a string, a rope, snap it to it, and then tie this to our pole so many feet away, depending on what size net you're throwing, so you know exactly where that bait is. Uh, you do it downstream, so as you drop it in the water, it, it, it's the tie pulling it, so you know exactly where it's at. Before, when you throw this ball in the water, uh, the bait ball, and a lot of people still do this, I think. They just put the net there and just throw the ball in the water. But when you throw the ball in the water, it's a problem. Tide rushing. Sometimes you get the area that the tide's rolling out. You throw that ball in the water, that ball could be 10 feet away from where you throw it. You're just throwing your net over nothing. So, and, and, you know, when the tide switches, if it's sitting there, it could roll back the other way. The way we're going to have it with that weight in it and with the ball in it, it ain't going to move. We're going to know exactly where it's at every time. We throw that net over top of this bait ball. These things too can be reused. We found out if you put if you save them like that, we well, throw the water and then leave it's gone. You never got it back. But now with these ropes, when you pull the stick up, it's attached to it. You pull it out, and we've noticed it's hardly even been used at all. So what we do now is we'll take them, put them in the freezer, and use them again because it's getting expensive after a while. So you can use it. I'm thinking five or six times easy. And you keep using it, so you save a lot of money doing that too. Pretty cool. I just want to give y'all a quick heads up on that while we're doing with that. Uh, but the second thing is, when you're out there, you got to mark your spot. With your spot. And they sell them down in, uh, you know, further south Carolina. And they use them all the time. Pretty expensive. Uh, but up here, you, you know, it's hard to ship them at all. So I, I've been looking, looking, looking for a good pole to use. So I run across these at um, Costco. They were like five dollars for these right here, and it's it's enough to make two 16-foot poles. The problem being, these are individual; they don't connect together. So we had to come up with a way to connect them together, and that's what I'm gonna get y'all to help me out with. First thing, I got two methods here. The first method is a pretty simple method. Uh, what we did, I just glued uh, connectors on here. They have pipe-fitting connectors on here. So what you got here is. Is a that half inch CPVC, but basically what you do is you just screw them together right here like this, like that. And, then, and if I only need a short one, that's what I do right there, because you got you got one that's got a top on it right here. It's got a nice reflective. It's hard to see the poles in the water sometimes. It's got a nice reflective here. So what we got here is well, we can actually connect four of these together. And I'm gonna show you real quick how how. Oh, and this, this is one issue right here. Yeah, you, know, you gotta sit there and get it lined up. You gotta make sure it's right. Just screw it in. And, you know, you can do it. No big deal. You only do it once while you're out there doing it. So here's one, two. All right, kind of get this going here. Come on. All right, like that. And the third one here. Oh, oh the fourth one actually. And you got a 16 foot pole here now which is pretty cool because you need it sometimes actually probably this probably goes down in the in the mud about two feet 
If you're in 12 foot of water, that's 12 plus 2 is 14. You only leave a 16 foot one, we only leave two foot above. And there it is right there. I don't know if y'all see it all the way. I'm coming at you anyway. <laughs> but it, 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 it's pretty pretty sturdy. It's a um, uh, half inch. I think it's going to work good. It's at the end of it right there. 16 foot right there. Now, and I can do that. These are a little bit expensive, but I mean, it wouldn't be that bad. But the second method I got, let me show this out in the yard here. The second method I come up with is this. Uh, just so y'all know, these things come, <clears throat> when they come, they got like a little connector on top. You got to cut that off right there. And then what I did is I've come to find out that these pipes fit perfect. And the half inch CP CPVC pipe goes in perfect. Then what I drilled an eighth inch hole in here and just lined it up right there. I got these. These are stainless steel. You want your steel and stock work, so you don't want something that's going to be a... Uh, you know, messed up to uh, rust and all, so get in there. That's a potential problem right there. All right, then you, you stick this through here, but the problem being is you got to make sure it's lined up perfect. It's got to go a certain way. If it doesn't, it doesn't go through right, so there you go. It does right there, but it ain't going nowhere doing that. The other method would be to take this one out. Stick this back in here, like this. And I think it lined up. But this could be a problem when you get out in the water, you're ready to go to Crab Mega, slip right through that time. But anyway, this is another method right there, as you can see. And it works. I just, I haven't done the rest of it yet. I gotta cut that off and do the rest of it. But what do y'all think? I think I should go with the uh, pipe fittings or some other method or maybe y'all guys have another method i can join these two together better than uh than what you see me come up with two pieces of two pieces of this right here let's take this off i'm gonna show you real quick ah. you got to come up with me a method to join two of these together this will be cut off and just be two pieces of right there like that but you know you can never get uh, ready too soon i don't think it's coming up it'll be here before you know it we'll be crabbing shrimping fishing we'll catch some bounders this year too i didn't do that last year but we're gonna catch that maybe go gig some again the gig master might have to gig the flounder i don't know we'll have to see about that too anyway that's a couple methods we come up with those two let me know what y'all think in the comments below which method do you like and which one you think would be better I, just playing with it in front of you here i did notice that the uh putting those pins in might be a little harder than it is just screwing them on. I don't know. What do y'all think? Got another idea? Put it down below. I right, appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share. Subscribe to the Gig Master. We'll want a new adventure every day. Take care. <laughs>